this acute renal failure topic is very nicely written the treatment and management very nicely written in pediatric guideline they have talked about the renal failure some causes some preterm causes renal causes and what is the specific management so let me tell you that a renal failure occurs why a renal failure occurs maybe some reasons this renal failure can cause to our body maybe fluid overload in our body maybe excessive micturition or dehydrate our body so first and foremost thing you have to remember while treating a child with renal failure you have to understand whether there is anuria or fluid overload in in this children's body child's body or there is uh, excessive urine flow that is why the child become dehydrated if there is you think anuria and the body is already swelled and the water is not coming out of the body then you can start with frusamide but if you think the child is very dehydrated then you can give bolus this is the basic difference so according to the clinical signs symptom and according to the course of the disease and the pathophysiological reason you have to start the management for acute renal failure and rest of the things are quite symptomatic you know uh, maybe if there is hypertension you have to give antihypertensive okay so in the pediatric guideline these acute renal failure has been written so nicely this is a comparison of the laboratory investigations in the pre renal or pre renal or renal causes of renal failure okay so how you will understand that there is pre renal cause like other than renal cause or renal cause you see in the question they will give you some investigation as i told you before in uh, mrcpch part 2 they will give you lots of investigation report so that you can clinically correlate with the signs symptom and investigation report so in the investigation report whenever you will find that there is some features of renal failure and you are seeing most importantly urine urinary sodium urinary amount of sodium so if this urinary sodium is less than 10 less than 10 like urinary sodium is less than 10 10 so the problem is pre renal like not renal okay but if the urinary sodium is more than 20 so the problem is in the kidney it means there is some problem occurring in the kidney that is why the kidney cannot hold the sodium and lots of sodium loss is occurring am i clear about this so maybe sometimes with this urinary sodium amount they will try to give you a clue that whether this renal failure occurring due to renal cause or other than renal cause okay and urinary osmolality is very important when the problem is in the kidney the osmolality usually reduces less than 35 but when the problem is pre renal the osmolality usually increases that is more than 50 these two is the most important clue to diagnose the renal failure whether it is pre renal or renal okay they will just give you these two to confuse okay okay let's get to the next point complement levels whenever you diagnose uh, some renal diseases you have to check the c3 level or complement level and most specific is the diseases where the complement levels are reduced so the reduced complement level will always be recognized by you reduced complement level so what are the examples give star mark and write it down recall lupus nephritis post streptococcal glomerulonephritis or psgn the common one mesangiocephaly glomerulonephritis associated with c3 nephrotic factor cryoglobinemia infective endocarditis and chronically infected atrioventricular shunts okay mostly these renal causes you have to memorize lupus nephritis psgn mesangiocapillary glomerulonephritis and infective endocarditis 1 2 3 4 these four you have to remember and you have to know that if there is complement level is low then diagnosis will be in between these four but if there is complement level is normal or the complement level is higher then you have you have to think the other causes okay urinary microscopy for the basic i am just telling you a few topics you see what a urinary microscopy test like urinary test tells us so in the urinary test we see the specificity ph gravity the color uh, sometimes granular cast hyaline class cast right so the thing is what is cast 
just for the basic you know cast cast are cylindrical in shape and are module molded into the shape of a distal renal tubule so these are cast hyaline casts are transparent and do not indicate renal disease on their own also if in the urinary uh, in the urine ari report you see the white cell counter seen that is that are due to inflammatory infective disorder like uti we usually look for uh, leukocyte we usually look for uh, the nitrate right okay white cell cast this is a very important thing white cell cast are typically seen in acute pyelonephritis and interstitial nephritis thus if a child with a uti is found to have white cell cast suspect acute pyelonephritis